Hello. I am the storyteller. And today we will talk about Florence. Florence is a city in central Italy and the capital city of the Tuscany region. It is the most populated city in Tuscany, with 383,084 inhabitants in 2013, and over 1,520,000 in its metropolitan area. Florence was a center of medieval European trade and finance and one of the wealthiest cities of that era. It is considered by many academics the birthplace of the Renaissance, and has been called the Athens of the Middle Ages. Its turbulent political history includes periods of rule by the powerful Medici family and numerous religious and republican revolutions. From 1865 to 1871 the city served as the capital of the Kingdom of Italy. The Florentine dialect forms the base of standard Italian, and it became the language of culture throughout Italy due to the prestige of the masterpieces by Dante Alighieri, Petrarch, Giovanni Boccaccio, Niccolò Machiavelli and Francesco Guicciardini. The city attracts millions of tourists each year, and UNESCO declared the historic center of Florence a World Heritage Site in 1982. The city is noted for its culture, Renaissance art and architecture and monuments. The city also contains numerous museums and art galleries, such as the Uffizi Gallery and the Palazzo Pitti, and still exerts an influence in the fields of art, culture and politics. Due to Florence's artistic and architectural heritage, Forbes has ranked it as one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Florence plays an important role in Italian fashion, and is ranked in the top 15 fashion capitals of the world by Global Language Monitor. Furthermore, it is a major national economic center, as well as a tourist and industrial hub. In 2008 the city had the 17th highest average income in Italy. The language spoken in the city during the 14th century came to be accepted as the model for what would become the Italian language. Florence was home to the Medici, one of European history's most important noble families. Lorenzo de' Medici was considered a political and cultural mastermind of Italy in the late 15th century. Two members of the family were popes in the early 16th century, Leo X and Clement VII. Catherine de' Medici married King Henry II of France and, after his death in 1559, reigned as regent in France. Marie de' Medici married Henry IV of France and gave birth to the future King Louis XIII. The Medici reigned as Grand Dukes of Tuscany, starting with Cosimo I de' Medici in 1569 and ending with the death of John Gastone de' Medici in 1737. The Etruscans initially formed in the 9th-8th century BC the small settlement of Fiesole, which was destroyed by Lucius Cornelius Sulla in 80 BC in reprisal for supporting the Popularis faction in Rome. The present city of Florence was established by Julius Caesar in 59 BC as a settlement for his veteran soldiers, and was named originally Fluentia, owing to the fact that it was built between two rivers, which was later changed to Florentia. Situated along the Via Cascia, the main route between Rome and the north, and within the fertile valley of the Arno, the settlement quickly became an important commercial center. In centuries to come, the city experienced turbulent periods of Ostrogothic rule, during which the city was often troubled by warfare between the Ostrogoths and the Byzantines, which may have caused the population to fall to as few as 1,000 people. Peace returned under Lombard rule in the 6th century. Florence was conquered by Charlemagne in 774 and became part of the Duchy of Tuscany, with Lucca as capital. In 854, Florence and Fiesole were united in one county. Margrave Hugo chose Florence as his residency instead of Lucca at about 1000 AD. The Golden Age of Florentine art began around this time. In 1013, construction began on the Basilica di San Miniato al Monte. In 1100, Florence was a commune, meaning a city-state. Another great source of strength was its industrious merchant community. The Florentine merchant banking skills became recognized in Europe after they brought decisive financial innovation to medieval fairs. After their suppression, Florence came under the sway of the Albizzi family, who became bitter rivals of the Medici. In the 15th century, Florence was among the largest cities in Europe with a population of 60,000 and was considered rich and economically successful. Cosimo de' Medici was the first Medici family member to essentially control the city from behind the scenes. The fact that the Medici were bankers to the Pope also contributed to their ascendancy. Cosimo was succeeded by his son Piero, who was, soon after, succeeded by Cosimo's grandson, Lorenzo in 1469. Lorenzo was a great patron of the arts, commissioning works by Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci and Botticelli. Lorenzo was an accomplished poet and musician and brought composers and singers to Florence, including Alexander Agricola, Johannes Gieselin, and Heinrich Isaac. Following Lorenzo de' Medici's death in 1492, he was succeeded by his son Piero II. When the French King Charles VIII invaded northern Italy, Piero II chose to resist his army. These made the Florentines rebel, and they expelled Piero II. 
With his exile in 1494, the first period of Medici rule ended with the restoration of a republican government. He praised the exile of the Medici as the work of God, punishing them for their decadence. Commissioned by the Medici, Machiavelli also wrote the Florentine histories, the history of the city. Florentines drove out the Medici for a second time and re-established a republic on May 16, 1527. Restored twice with the support of both Emperor Charles V and Pope Clement VII, the Medici in 1532 became hereditary Dukes of Florence, and in 1569 Grand Dukes of Tuscany, ruling for two centuries. The extinction of the Medici dynasty and the accession in 1737 of Francis Stephen, Duke of Lorraine and husband of Maria Theresa of Austria, led to Tuscany's temporary inclusion in the territories of the Austrian crown. It became a secundogeniture of the Habsburg-Lorraine dynasty who were deposed for the House of Bourbon-Parma in 1801. From 1801 to 1807 Florence was the capital of the Napoleonic client state kingdom of Etruria. The Bourbon-Parma were deposed in December 1807 when Tuscany was annexed by France. The Habsburg-Lorraine dynasty was restored on the throne of Tuscany at the Congress of Vienna but finally deposed in 1859. Tuscany became a region of the Kingdom of Italy in 1861. Florence replaced Turin as Italy's capital in 1865 and, in an effort to modernize the city, the old market in the Piazza del Mercato Vecchio and many medieval houses were pulled down and replaced by a more formal street plan with newer houses. This development was unpopular, and was prevented from continuing by the efforts of several British and American people living in the city. A museum recording the destruction stands nearby today. The country's second capital city was superseded by Rome six years later, after the withdrawal of the French troops made its addition to the kingdom possible. During World War II the city experienced a year-long German occupation being part of the Italian Social Republic. Hitler declared it an open city on July 3, 1944 as troops of the British Eighth Army closed in. In early August, the retreating Germans decided to demolish all the bridges along the Arno linking the district of Oltrano to the rest of the city, making it difficult for troops of the Eighth Army to cross. However, at the last moment Charles Steinhauslin, at the time consul of 26 countries in Florence, convinced the German general in Italy that the Ponte Vecchio was not to be destroyed due to its historical value. Instead, an equally historic area of streets directly to the south of the bridge, including part of the Corridaio Vasariano, was destroyed using mines. Shortly before leaving Florence, as they knew that they would soon have to retreat, the Germans executed many freedom fighters and political opponents publicly, in streets and squares including the Piazza Santo Spirito. Florence was liberated by New Zealand, South African and British troops on August 4, 1944. The Allied soldiers who died driving the Germans from Tuscany are buried in cemeteries outside the city. At the end of World War II in May 1945, the U.S. Army's Information and Educational Branch was ordered to establish an overseas university campus for demobilized American servicemen and women in Florence, Italy. The first American University for Service Personnel was established in June 1945 at the School of Aeronautics in Florence, Italy. In November 1966, the Arno flooded parts of the center, damaging many art treasures. Around the city there are tiny placards on the walls noting where the flood waters reached at their highest point. 